relationship is everything in life And everybody needs something in life All in love, all in love, all in love, all in love Relationship is everything in life And everybody needs something in life All in love, all in love This is Relationship Tips Live. I'm your host, Aki Anyonwale. Like I always say, relationship is everything in life. That is my gospel. That is what I preach. And that is what I believe in absolutely and completely. You can watch previous episodes of Relationship Tips online on my YouTube channel. As you can see the address on the screen right now. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. All right, at Aki and Yawale, and make sure that you press the notification button so that you can be aware and notified every time that new video is being uploaded. All right. Also, follow me on my Facebook page at Pastor Aki. All you need to do is just to like the page, then you'll be updated regularly. I'm also on TikTok, powerfully. Follow me on TikTok at Aki and Yawale. Follow me on. Um, Instagram at Ayinwali Akiades. You see all these addresses on your screen right now. God bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. Okay, you know, we have two packages that we run every week in our office. And that is what we call the first one, online premarital counseling for those that are not married yet, but they want to settle down. You want to settle down this year? You want to settle down? In six months, you want to settle down in one year, you are looking for a wife material or you are looking for a husband material. You yourself, you are a wife material and you are looking for husband material. That class, that school is meant for you. Where we are being, you know, we discuss about everything that has to do with your premarital marriage. Very, very important. I always advise people that, you see, don't go ahead in marriage without counseling the, the risk is high I'm telling you the truth okay three basic uh, counseling that you need before you say yes i do is what i call parental counseling pastoral counseling then professional counseling to balance it is very very important and we offer two of such uh, platform that is pastoral counseling and professional counseling i'm a professional coach i'm a professional relationship uh uh, counselor, all right. So you can register right now. How do I register? You see a number on your screen right now. Just send me a WhatsApp and register there right now. It's a 10 day course and it is one hour per day. I can bet you that your life will never remain the same. I'm telling you, it will work a while for you. You will thank me later. All right. The second package that we have is called Online Marriage School. It's meant for those of us that are married. All right, marriage is meant to be enjoyed and not to be endured. But it takes wisdom, it takes understanding for you to enjoy marriage. That is what we discuss at our online marriage school. You and your spouse, you will be in the school just for 10 days, 10 days, Monday to Friday, one hour. You pick an hour that is convenient for both of you. And at the comfort of your home, we run it together. We run it together. It's very important. And I believe that your life will never remain the same. I'm telling you. You see, I discovered that there are so many lovers, okay, that have problems in marriage. Not because they are bad, but because maybe there is, there is a knowledge gap in a particular area, in a particular aspect of marriage. And you see, where there is no knowledge, the Bible, the, the Bible says that my people are perishing because what? They lack knowledge. When there is a knowledge gap, then you, you may find out that you have to pay for it. You have to suffer for it. I'm sorry to say, all right? So it's important that you close the knowledge gap by coming to our marriage school, all right? Make sure you register right now. The same way you see the number on the screen, just register you and your spouse. One spot, then kickstart 
are the convenience of your house. Relationship is everything in life. That is my gospel. That's what I preach. And that is what I believe in absolutely and completely. Glory to God. God bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. Hello. Marriage is meant to be enjoyed and not to be endured. For all your marriage and relationship issues, consult the relationship man himself, Akin Anyawale, specialist in conflict resolution, marriage relationship counseling. Before you say I do, premarital counseling, marriage blessings, and loads more at Relationship Consult, 43 College Road, Oba, Ikeja. Lagos. Aki Anyawali is a host of the popular Relationship Tips Live on social media platforms. For your bookings and registration, call and chat on 081-0677-3844 or 090-234-6975. WhatsApp only. Marriage is a beautiful gift of love from God. All right, let's go into the teachings of today. We have been looking at the uh, the foundation or the purpose of marriage. Okay, why do we have marriage? Why, uh, e e why is marriage necessary? Why is marriage important? Okay, we have been looking at it. The first one we said, according to the Bible, is for companionship. Genesis chapter 2, verse 18. It is not good for a man to be alone. I will make an ethnic for him. It was not a man's idea. Marriage is never a man's idea. There, 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 there are no books that you will read that will tell you that, oh, men came together and said, let's be having marriage. No. So it would be wrong for us to have templates for what we didn't, we didn't institute it, you understand? So the best thing is to go back to the author, to go back to the book, how and what exactly is the purpose of marriage. And we started looking at that, Genesis chapter 2, verse 24. Therefore shall a man leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two of them shall become one. All right? Can you see? So we discover that the first purpose of marriage is for companionship, is for friendship, is for fellowship. Okay? God hates loneliness. Loneliness is not, is not an intention of God. God does not want us to be lonely either man or woman. He wants companionship, he wants fellowship. So, and we have marriages that, I mean, the people are married, but they are still lonely in marriage, okay? It's an aberration for you to be married and you're still lonely in that marriage relationship. That means the purpose is defeated, okay? If you are still married and you are not fellowshipping, one of my mentors said this, which is very important, that major challenge that we face as counselors is that before people get married, we are preaching to them, we are counseling them, don't sleep together, don't sleep together, don't sleep together. Because we don't want premarital sex, premarital, you understand? We know that, oh, we'll be preaching. Premarital sex is not good, all right? And we achieve that. But funnily, by the time people, another challenge, by the time people get married together, it's not become a problem for them to be sleeping together, to be coming together, so to fellowship together, to commune together. So another job I started for. Oh, why are you not sleeping together? Why are you not uh, companion? Uh, why are you not fellowshipping together? Why are you not together? You see, that's a challenge that we face. <laughs> it's an aberration for you to be in a married relationship and you are not fellowshipping, okay? You are not a companion with your spouse. It's an aberration because that's the first purpose of marriage. And we have looked at that, things that will help you to build that companionship, communication, a lot, a lot, a lot of things are there. I will advise that you come for our marriage school to learn all these things so that you will understand what we are talking about. He said, the second is for love, 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 love. Love is another very strong, and major pillar of every successful marriage. Love is the basis. Listen to me. My wife said on this platform uh, sometimes back, he said, love is a gift that you have, but it's not meant for you, it's meant for your spouse. Love is what? It's a gift that you have, it's your own, all right? But it's meant for your spouse. That is exactly the intention of God. Every one of us will have a gift of love, 
but it's meant for our spouse. Okay, how do we how do we do that? How do we transfer that love to our spouse? Now listen to this. I'm going to be talking today about some ingredients, all right, that we can put into our lives that will increase our love level, that we you know, help us. And they call them love languages. Okay, a lot of people are having issues with their love life today, not because they don't love each other, but because they don't understand how to love each other. Okay, so if I'm to title these short clips today, I will say how to love your spouse, understanding how to love your spouse, or understanding the love of your spouse. It's very important. Many people don't understand the language of love that their spouses are speaking. Okay. They don't understand. They just speak a language of love that they understand. But unfortunately, they don't understand the one that their spouse is speaking. And that is a major, major challenge. Have you had a woman that has been married for five, six years that will tell you that, oh, my husband, well, I've, I've left him. I don't think he loves me. You understand? Not because that man does not love the woman, but probably the there is no synergy, there is no, there is no communication, all right, between how to love that woman, all right, and the woman assumed that the husband does not love her, all right. So we are going to be looking at that number one today. I think we have about five of them, five languages, different languages. What love means to me is different from what love means to my wife. That is the truth because we are from different, different backgrounds. What love means to my wife is not the same thing <laughs> with me. All right, so we'll look at it, and uh, until you speak the love language of your spouse, you may not be communicating love. Yeah, I know I love you. I love you. Yes, you may know. You are the one that knows that you love your spouse. But your wife needs to know that you love him or her only one way when you speak the language of love that he or she is speaking. All right, the first language is what we call word of affirmation. Okay, words of affirmation. There are some people like me. That is one of my love languages. The words, 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 words that you speak have a lot of meanings to me. Words are not, words of mouth are not empty as far as I'm concerned. Words get far with me. Okay, a, a, a word does not end with what I hear. Okay, I hear it severally. It resounds severally. So, okay, words of affirmation is one of the best language of love. I'm telling you, you see, it talks about you affirming yourself, you saying words of encouragement, you, you see, saying words of exhortation, right? Not to talk down on each other. Not to, there are some languages that, you, I mean, there are some words that you can never find in my mouth, no matter what happens. I'm telling you, no matter what happened, okay? And there are some people like that. There are some ladies like that, that, oh, you, I'm, the, I'm the one swimming in your ocean. I mean, what that we encourage that will bring the best out of one another. That's what we call words of affirmation, okay? And until you speak that, there are some people that when you speak contrary to words of affirmation to them, you bring them down. Oh, they lose everything. They looked at you and said, oh, you don't love me. All right, so find out, is your spouse speaking the love language of words of affirmation? Is your spouse speaking that? If your spouse is speaking that, the best way to communicate to him or her is to speak that word. Don't say, ah, he's too petty. Oh, she's too petty. No, 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 no. You, you want the best. You want to communicate love to your spouse. Then stay there, stay there, stay there. You'll be surprised. I have read of many couples that the wife said some things about the husband when they were growing up, you know, when you are just growing up, the two of you, you are, you know, trying to build that, those homes, and then um, you have a lot of friction at that particular time. You are just getting to know one another. Be careful. I want to advise women to be careful of what. I've discovered that, okay, I've been married now for above two decades now. There are some words that you will say to one another when you first of all get married, maybe in the first five years, that it will re-echo 
to your spouse when you are like 10 years or 15 years. That the meaning of those words, and you will, you will not be able to withdraw it again. Those of us that just get married, please hear me and hear me. Don't speak to hurt your spouse. Don't speak to hurt your husband right now. You know what? You may not like it when that word grows up later in life. When you guys are 10, 15, 20 years in marriage, you will wish that you didn't say those words. Because you see, in marriage, you can get used to one another. You can get used to the words, okay? That words of criticism, words of antagonizing one another, words that, you know, pierce the heart of one another. Oh, you use what you use words to hurt one another. Yes, the person may get over it, all right? But later in life, all right, this is one of the secrets that later in life people say, oh, my spouse has changed. Oh, this one has changed. This one. That, that man just got used to that word. That lady just gets used to those words that you are saying. She really used to say this. Used to say this. You see, the meaning of those words, huh? the effect and the impact of those words, later in life, they haunt us in marriages. They haunt us in marriage. So you have to be careful the words that you speak, the word that you speak to one another. Let it be a word of affirmation. Don't let it be a word that you will regret that you spoke in your first year of marriage. Don't let it be a word that you regret that you spoke about your spouse in the earlier years of your marriage, all right? Rather, speak the word that you rejoice, speak the word that will encourage, make it a word of affirmation, and I believe it's going to boost the moral of one another, and it's a love language that you need in your marriage. I hope this bless somebody today. Don't forget to share this broadcast right now. Share it to your friends, share it to everyone, so that they can be blessed through it. Don't forget, relationship is everything in life. That's my gospel and that's my uh, teaching and that is what I preach every day, okay? Don't forget to register for my online marriage school. Register right now. Register right now and the Lord will bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm going to pray for your family and for your marriage shortly. After this timeout, don't go anywhere. I'll be back. Hello, marriage is meant to be enjoyed and not to be endured. For all your marriage and relationship issues, consult the relationship man himself, Akin Anyo Wale, specialist in conflict resolution, marriage relationship counseling. Before you say I do, premarital counseling, marriage blessings, and loads more at Relationship Consult, 43 College Road, Oba, Ikeja. Lagos. Aki Anyawali is a host of the popular Relationship Tips Life on social media platforms. For your bookings and registration, call and chat on 081-0677-3844 or 090-234-6975. WhatsApp only. Marriage is a beautiful gift of love from God. Welcome back. Relationship is everything in life. That's my gospel, that's what I preach, and that is what I believe in absolutely and completely. All right? Before I pray for you, listen to this. Jesus loves you regardless of your color, regardless of your experience in life, regardless of your gender. He loves you regardless, regardless. You know what to do? What you need to do right now is to receive him, receive him, receive him as your Lord and Savior so that you can enjoy is love in your life. How do you do that? Put your right hand on your chest and pray this prayer with me. Mean it in your heart. Close your eyes and say after me, say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come to you today. I am a sinner. Forgive me my sins. Jesus, I believe you died for me on the cross of Calvary and you rose again on the third day. Therefore, come into my heart, Jesus. Come into my life. I receive you as my Lord and Savior. From today, I am born again. Satan, I reject you. I belong to Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for receiving me. In Jesus' name. 
Amen and amen. If you pray that prayer, congratulations. You know what? You are born again. Your face may not change, but something definitely has changed inside of you. What you need to do right now is to join a Bible-believing church that is very close to your house. And believe, I believe, I believe that there is a Bible-believing church close to you. Join them. Tell them that you just gave your life to Jesus. They have a package for you. In case you are in Nigeria and you are in Lagos State, close to Ogba, in Ikeja, why don't you just fellowship with us at Splendor Church International this coming Sunday? All right, my wife and I will be glad to receive you. 8 a.m. before service is 10 a.m. the second service, respectively. Any of these services that you come for, your life will never remain the same in the name of Jesus Christ. I want to pray for you. All right, stretch forth your hand. In the name of Jesus, Father, I command your hand upon this home, upon this union, upon this marriage, upon this family right now, in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree the blessings of God, sorrow-free blessings, to come upon your home in the name of Jesus Christ. I banish anything called confusion in your home in the name of Jesus. Every iota of confusion, problem, challenges in the name of Jesus, conflict in your home, I put a stop to it now in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive divine intervention upon your family. Receive divine intervention upon your own. Receive divine intervention upon your life right now in the name of Jesus. Oh, I command open heavens over your life in the name of Jesus Christ. The work of your hand as a man is blessed in the name of Jesus. The Lord will bless you. He will increase you. He will expand you in the name of Jesus. I bless the work of your hand, woman, in the name of Jesus. Together as a family, I decree it shall be well with you. No sickness will prosper in that home in the name of Jesus Christ. No Jezebel will scatter your home in the name of Jesus. I decree supernatural protection over your family, divine supply in the name of Jesus. Your children are blessed in the name of Jesus. The Lord will raise them up as giants in the land. In the name of Jesus. It shall be well with you, spirit, soul, and body. For those that you are trusting God to settle down, receive divine intervention, divine connection for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Your husband will locate you, my sister, in the name of Jesus. God will settle you, sir, in the name of Jesus Christ. It shall be well with you, spirit, soul, and body. In Jesus' name. We have prayed. Amen. Relationship is everything in life. That's my gospel. That's what I preach. And that is what I believe in absolutely and completely. Until I see you again next week and this Wednesday. Don't ever forget this. You are gloriously blessed. Hello. Marriage is meant to be enjoyed and not to be endured. For all your marriage and relationship issues, consult the relationship man himself, Akin Anyawale, specialist in conflict resolution, marriage relationship counseling. Before you say I do, premarital counseling, marriage blessings, and loads more at Relationship Consult for the Tree College with Oba Ikeja. Lagos. Aki Anyawali is a host of the popular Relationship Tips Live on social media platforms. For your bookings and registration, call and chat on 081-0677-3844 or 090-234-69755. WhatsApp only. Marriage is a beautiful gift of love from God.